Today we are going to be looking at the Wave Mic Arm LP by Elgato. So you just got yourself a fancy new microphone, you probably want something low profile that hides underneath your monitors. Well this may be your answer. Hey guys my name is Khaled and welcome back to another video. So as mentioned we're looking at the Wave Mic Arm LP by Elgato but before we start with the unboxing let's talk about the pricing. Now it's quite steep it will actually cost you similar to a microphone itself but the product is genuinely worth it. So if you live in the UK it normally retails for £90 but can get it from the Elgato website for about £75 now and in the US from the Elgato website around $100. When you open up the box the first thing you'll see is the manual, it gives you instructions on how to set it up and measurements. You get this accessory pouch as well that has different threads for different types of microphones and you get this desk clamp which is very well made, feel sturdy and heavy as well. So now we have this mic portion. So the idea of this is supposed to be low profile and essential for a content creator. So basically how you would have it set up is it will sit just behind your monitor. It will be low enough so it comes out underneath your monitors and then you can place it right near your mouth. So this won't obstruct your viewing experience. You won't go over the monitors then down or under as your conventional microphone arms. So it's good if you're streaming, if you're creating content, if you have a online webinar for example and it can hold microphones of up to 2.2 kilograms. Now the ball head comes with a quarter inch fitting but you also get the adapters that thread in and they are 3 eighth of an inch and 5 eighth of an inch. So this should essentially accommodate for any sort of microphone you have. So let's quickly explore the desk clamp. So at the bottom we have the turning mechanism you can tighten it to your desk or loosen it depending on the size of your desk. Talking about the depth, it can handle desk up to 60 millimeters, which is quite large. And you also get these soft padding. So if you have a delicate desk or soft surface, it won't damage it. Because this desk clamp has a large surface area, you can actually mount it on an uneven desk or desk that has a lip. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Just a quick shameless plug. If you want to see more short form content, more reels, more behind the scenes, then do remember to follow me on Instagram at Carlos Tech. So as you can see, the metal frame of my desk is quite close to the edge of the desk top. So you get this uneven lip as demonstrated in the video. However, because the clamp has a large surface area, it does fit into the desk quite well. But just make sure when it's fully fitted and secure to give it a quick tug, make sure it doesn't come off because if you do have an expensive microphone or a normal microphone on, you don't want it to drop or cause any issues. But I think Elgato have already thought of this, hence the large surface area, but you can never be too careful, right? So now we have the microphone arm fully set up. You can see the first part has a low profile and the second part is slightly higher up. Now bear in mind you'd probably put this behind your monitor but the reason why I put it here is for video purpose and you get a clear indication of how it works. We have this unlocking mechanism as you just saw now and you can hide it away behind your desk on the side of the desk and it's just out of the way. It looks very neat and there's also cable management in there which I'll talk about slightly later on. The movement on this microphone arm is extremely fluid. I mean I've been just messing around with it, putting it back to its original form, extending it and then having it in a heightened position and it just feels very smooth and intuitive. So as standard this comes with a quarter inch connector on an articulated ball head. So you can put it in any different direction, have different microphones in, it carries microphones up to 2.2 kilograms in weight which is I mean you can get a pretty large microphone in there if you're using it for podcast, gaming, streaming, singing, whatever you desire. So for my setup I needed to put the 5.8 thread on because I have a 5.8 thread on my microphone. So I just quickly show it in demonstration. Now ideally I am going to get a shock mount as well just in case I tap on the desk for like this for example or I make an error. The good thing about shock mount is even if the mount shakes or the arm shakes or you make a slight movement it shouldn't pick up those noises. So here we have the mic finally set up and to its desired position. You can also use a allen key provided to adjust the tension of the mic arm. So here we have it set up, you can put it all the way up depending on how you need to use it to be fair. But the best way is having it behind your monitors, having the low profile arm and it coming to your face. And as you can see, how good does that look? Very neat, hides away safely and it's all out of the way. Okay, so I know you're paying a premium price. I mean 90 pounds is not exactly cheap. But luckily you do get some premium features. 
So we have a magnetic plate which hides all the cable management. Near where the microphone is housed, we also have a large cutout, so you can feed through auxiliary cables and different types of USB cables. Once the first part near the microphone is done, we can continue feeding the cable through and put on the magnetic plates. And also you have a large cutout on the first part where the cable exits and you can put it into a sound card or USB A port or USB C port. And once it's fully done, look at that, a lot of flexibility, no wires in sight. Alright guys, just to conclude this video, I do really like this product. The only caveat being is the price point. £90, $100 is not cheap, but you do get a fantastic piece of kit that is sturdy, built well and hides away when you don't need to use it. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you want more tech videos and as always, stay safe. Peace.